first you'll turn it on. And first thing you need to do is calibrate the tiger stop. So you can see where it says start, uh, press start. You do. And it initializes. Make sure all material is off of the tiger stop and saw. And press start again. And it will find its home position. Every time this tiger stop is shut off, it will do this. That way, so no matter where you shut it off, it, it has the home position and it will find it every time. Okay. Now, this is a fully automatic uh, tiger stop attached to a North Tech chop saw. The guard is removed uh, so you can see the workings. Um, I'll go ahead and program in uh, a little program so you can see how to do it. Uh, first thing you'll do is program list and we'll enter cut list. So we'll just pick number 38. Start. First it'll do, tell, ask you what you want to do, whether you want to push it or pattern. In this case, we're going to push number one, head cut and tail cut, yes. And it asks you uh, the length that you want to cut. So we're just going to put in four inches, 4.0. And now it's going to ask you how many you would like to cut at four inches. So we'll put three. Start. Now for your second cut, we'll put six inches in. And how many of those? Two. Uh, cut three. We'll put eight inches. And we'll do four of those. Okay. Now we will go to program list. Uh, run our new cut yet list. Uh, yes. One. Now it'll ask me what length of material we have. Measure the piece of wood. It's 86 inches. So we'll put 86. Put our piece of wood in and hit start. Okay, now it's ready to cut. And all you really have to do, we're going to turn the saw on and the dust collector. pieces that we wanted to cut. Uh, you can repeat the cut list or start a new cut list. Um, you can op also optimize off the same uh, Tiger Stop setup. Uh, the guard is removed for showing operation. You will never want to run this machine in automatic mode or any mode without the guard.